The storm has arrived. Say it is raining. <gasps> there was some good lightning and thunder like 30 seconds ago. like that. So stay warm, stay dry. I'm gonna go from rain, probably to ice, probably to snow. Y'all be good. Good morning. This is Nita and Panda and Tosha with the Timepiece Garden. And I don't know if you can hear it. That's not rain. That's ice. There might be some rain mixed in, but it's ice. I don't have snow yet. I have ice. Um, yeah, it's 37 degrees and the temperature is dropping. So I'm getting ready to go. Go tend to the chickens. Hi, girlfriends. I know. I know. And, um, yeah, get, make sure they got plenty of, plenty of scratch and, and, and layer feed. And I band a dog. Get all the stuff they need. And then I'll come back and make sure Kitty's got the same. You know, everybody outside gets fed first. And then I'll take these two in the house and get them fed. So, with that, have a nice evening. Come on, Kitty Blaze. Tosha, leave it. Tosha, leave it. Kitty Blaze. Kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Tosha, leave it. All right, anyway, let me get going. Talk to you later. And now I have snow. Yes, Panda does not have dandruff. <laughs> Just snow. Now the chicken's smart. I went ahead and fed them, let him out, and they're here under the house ledge because it stays dry. And I won't lie, that's where they like it. <clears throat> so, again, stay warm, stay dry. Fire in the house is already going. And yeah, life will be awesome. Meow, I can't hear no, it's cold outside. What you doing? What you doing? You using me to hide from Tosha? <laughs> Kitty goes back under the, under the ladder. Was you getting toshes? Was you, was you pawing at that toshes? <laughs> She's like, get off me, dog. Get off me, dog. Oh, you want mama to get you? Okay. Y'all have a great day. The dogs are outside with me. I brought over some hot water. Yeah, my waters are starting to freeze. It's 21 degrees outside, you know, kind of expected. So, right now I'm just pouring hot water in it. You know, every couple of hours just to keep it from freezing, freezing. Um, I have a tree branch. It came in through my uh, tarp. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Um, chickens are not in the in the, in the the coop or in the run. They're out doing their thing to include Freckles. Freckles is hanging out with the other birds, which is awesome. Um, I am a little... I'm going to have to go do some research. I have snow flurries in here coming in from there. They're, I would say from there, they're venting across the top. Um, not sure if I need to cover that with plastic, because if you cover it with plastic, then the chicken moisture doesn't escape and you run the risk of it freezing their combs. So, I'm going to do a little research, figure out if I'm going to do something about it. You know, it's only 21 degrees, we're not going to get any warmer. So if I need to staple some plastic or something, then that's what I need to do. Now the rest of the coop has a lot to do with that plastic being there is actually good. Um, you can see where snow was blowing under it there and blowing into the run here, but their food area is still really dry. 
which is good. It gives them a dry place to uh, to stand without being in frozen snow. Anyway, I'm going to walk around and see if they want some oatmeal. Because, again, eating helps them maintain their body temperature. And uh, dogs will walk with me, and we will talk to you later. So you probably can't even see the chickens. But Freckles is right there. There's the bucket. There's Freckles. She is hanging out with the other chickens outside. All right, I'm gonna leave him alone. I just figured, you know, I'm happy. She's hanging out with the with the with the flock. And that means the Roo will protect her the same way he does the other girls. Awesome. So when I was out here checking their water earlier. Um, and are looking for eggs. Um, I have blowing snow, and it's snowing in the coop. It's coming in from that window. It's not coming in from this one, but it's coming in from that window, and it's actually got their, their roosting bar covered. Um, same thing with the uh, their wood chips down here. Um, so if you have chickens, you know that the moisture is the enemy of chickens. It'll give them frostbite, etc. cetera. Um, when they're dry, they're good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of plastic up on that window to stop the snow from coming in here because the snow will melt and it'll make all their chips moist. Which is just, again, not a good thing. So let me get busy. Um, I'm going to use some of that leftover greenhouse plastic I had that was still good from last year's hoop tunnel. Um, and I'm just going to I'm gonna cover it, you know? Whew. All right, talk to you in a few. In the workshop. All right, I'm gonna take the tape measure. I know my coop is five foot by seven foot. And my window vents are on the five foot side. I've got some plastic again. This is what came off of the greenhouse from last year, where some of it started to get holy from being on there for two years, and um, the heat starts to make it brittle. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get my piece out of this. I should be able to. Um, again, the goal is to cover the window so the snow is not blowing into the coop. Not to seal off their ventilation, because they need chickens need the ventilation. Anyway, let me um let me get busy with this, and uh, talk to you in a few. All right, plastic is up. Um, you can kind of see over in that that far corner. It doesn't necessarily cover a hundred percent, which is fine. You know. Chickens need ventilation of their own, um, but you can also tell that there's no more snow flying in here, you know, which is what's needed. So I'm going to brush the snow off of the, the roosting bar, so I'll give it an opportunity to dry, and uh, call it a good, and I'll talk to you later. Hands are cold, nose is cold. Got the snow scraped off the roosting bar and the ice. I had blowing rain this morning as well, and it, it was ice. It was on the roosting bar. So, that sucks. Alright, no more. We'll get on it. Life will be awesome. Talk to you later. Ooh, my hands are cold. Alright, so, uh... I already knew I was going to do an awning on the nesting box side because I still get moisture in there when we have a heavy rain. Um, light rains, it's not an issue. So far the snow and the ice rain we had this morning wasn't an issue um, as far as the nesting boxes go. But long term I've got to be able to stop the rain from getting in there. So now it looks like I need to do an awning on both sides. Um, mostly... It allows me to keep the vents open, just completely open, but doesn't allow the snow to blow in and blow through like it did. So, it's tough to do. And with that, it's lunchtime. And once my hands are warm, I'll be adding some more wood to the in-the-house fire area. Yes, I've had a fire going since this morning. The house is toasty warm. <laughs> Outside is not. All right, talk to y'all later. Things you do on a cold day. 
I'm gonna come out with a hot bottle of water, pour it in their water dish, um, thaws it, which is a good thing, because it's not it's not 100% frozen yet today, because I come out literally like every two hours and pour hot water in it. Now the hot water cools off quick because it's getting poured over an ice cube, um, but it'll keep it warm for them and unthawed for a while. Um, and then like I've talked about in other videos, I came in here and put some, some fresh scratch down and some oatmeal. Because um, when they have food in their tummy, it actually helps raise their body temperature. So, everybody's doing good. Now, my lady's not in here. She's still outside under the big cedar tree. But everybody else has come in. You know. So no eggs yet today. I honestly don't expect an egg. I think I think both my girls are going to try and conserve some body heat, you know, and just not produce an egg. But it's all good. I'm going to just miss freckles. Again, she's hanging out ground level now with with everybody and so far everybody's cool which is a good thing we knew it was going to happen they just had to you know get that established pecking order and with that food's out water's warm i'm gonna go back in the house y'all stay warm stay dry and i will talk to you later